Hey there, as you can see, I'm half naked right now, waiting for Jason to get here so that we can head over to Costco and show you episode one of Get Ripped With Me. So a couple days ago, Jason and I sat down together and we thought, where do we want to take the direction of this channel? Vlogs, covers, or do we want to have some sort of serious component to it where we can provide an educational or informative value about something we're passionate about. We thought, hmm, what are we passionate about? Fitness, diet, dentistry, music. But we thought, hey, we have a common interest in fitness and diet. And a lot of people have asked us, what do you eat on a daily basis? How do you manage your work schedule with fitness and diet? So we thought, hey, why don't we create content? Jason has finally arrived. Oh, hello, Opa. We're back. <laughs> We're back. Ready for Costco? Oh, don't worry. I'll buy you dinner. I'll buy you a dollar fifty hot dogs after our grocery shopping. Oh, going fancy. I throw down on the weekends. We're here, we're going to Costco for our fitness, games, food edition. Get Ripped With Me series. Yes. Jason's actually an expert chef. And I've tasted some really, really good recipes that Jason used to make at his old place. Uh, pho, we had like beef briskets, um, barbecue ribs, uh, even um, he made these like honey chicken barbecue wings. So good. And then, all of a sudden you flipped over to that meal prep gains life started shredding. So you were a skeptic at first about the whole meal prep gains life, you know, opening up your Tupperware, eating the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. You were like, nah, nah, I can't do that. I'll eat somewhat healthy, but I need to have flavor. What motivated you to switch over to this meal prep lifestyle? You know, if you, if you care about the taste of the food, you're not gonna get fit. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Yeah. Showing you, these bodybuilders who show you good food that they eat, probably do that on camera. Mm -hmm. And then when they're, off, when they're off camera, they're blending chicken breast. Yeah, they're blending chicken breast, <laughs> meal prepping. Yeah. Like they're starving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all diet. Yeah. Diet is critical. Are we vlogging? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of J-Bro. Where are we, Jason? We're at the world famous Costco. This is a haven for people who love shopping. Oh. So yeah, um, so I have a membership to the Costco in New York City. I'm a member, so member exclusive lady. member. Exclusive. I took my girlfriend here once. Oh, yeah. oh what a romantic guy. It was great. It was she, great. she had a great time. She had a blast. At the end, I treated her to a fantastic Costco meal. Mm -hmm. And I will do the same for you. And you guys are still together? So, um, the reason that we're here today is, uh, well, let's just give it a contact. We're gonna pick up girls. Yeah. We're gonna pick, pick up lines at Costco. Taste, She can get a taste. She can get a taste. What did you say? It's all the same like Mary Kate. She can get a taste. So, what's, what's the um, idea behind this video? Why are we, why are we at Costco? Well, this is your idea, one. Because you love Costco. But two, this is the maximum way to get ripped with minimal amount of unnecessary stuff. That's what, that's what. And I saw Jason's transformation right before my eyes from someone who cooked tasty but not as nutritious meals. Nutritious or, is just fat True, true. High, high calorie, high fat meals yeah. that were delicious to now meal prepping the same chicken breast, vegetables, brown rice, white rice on a daily basis. You've been able to shred to like what? What percent body fat are you now? I think 10, 11 percent. I would say like 15 percent like a couple of months ago, but I've been on that gains diet, meal prepping, counting every single macro, and working out. And, yeah, and you've that. been, exactly, meal prepping, coming here, getting your groceries, cooking. Mm -hmm. That saves you money and it gives you yeah. the maximum nutrients as long as you're not buying crap. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea behind this video. I'm gonna show you my routine every time I come to Costco. I could probably close my eyes and do this. So you close your eyes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. So I have a grocery list. Oh, nice. Let's 
And you guys, there's chicken breast. <laughs> yeah, chicken, 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 chicken. chicken. <laughs> First thing on the list is chicken. <laughs> <laughs> wow, is that a surprise? <laughs> this is going to be a very complicated shopping experience. <laughs> Looks like there's a lot of holiday shopping going on. If you would like to send us a gift, we please do. We don't have a PO box, yeah. so I can give you my address. Did you know that Costco carries far fewer variety of items than a normal grocery store? Really? Yes. I think the normal grocery store carries like 16,000 items. 16? Whoa, that's a lot. Wait, is that true? And they strategically place the best items in the back of Costco. You know what that item is? Let me guess. <laughs> Put in some holy music here. Cause this is the land of gains, baby. Yo, check out those hits, yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, did you just say <laughs> so I prefer the tenderloins. There are breasts. What's the difference options? between tenderloins and breasts? Tenderloins are juicier. You know, you can get chicken thighs, chicken breasts, chicken tenderloins. I think chicken breasts is the driest, uh, but the leanest. Chicken tenderloins kind of in the middle. And then chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are really tasty, but it's fatty. So, no can do with the thighs. It's hard to choose between thighs and breast. <laughs> but, <laughs> but surprisingly, breast is leaner. Are you a thigh or breast kind of guy? Uh, that's a very difficult decision. <laughs> if I'm feeling like I need that extra juice, you know, I'm going for that, that thigh. Oh, thigh that, that thick thigh? Yeah. yeah. But if I'm trying to stay lean, and what? I don't care about the taste. I just nibble on the on the breast. Next thing, salmon. So Jason, you live in Manhattan. How much is salmon in Manhattan? Well, salmon's really expensive in Manhattan. So now we're picking what up that the salmon. What? What is that? It's anti-gate section here. But if you would like to give me business, please do drink soda. If you half off your cavities, if you use the Instagram code, <laughs> Dr. John Yu. So Jason. What is your go-to meal? Go-to Gaines Prep meal? Simple. Get some chicken breast, dice it up, small slices, so it's easy to chew. I put in peppers, onions, and broccoli, that's it. And then you put some seasoning like soy sauce, or in my case, I put some oyster sauce. It has that really uh, fishy flavor, and stir fry that. And I can make five days worth of meals from one hour of prep. That's max efficiency, baby. Yeah, and I count everything out, count how much protein, how much carbs, how much... Uh, That's carbs. a lot of work though, isn't it? Well, initially, I think the first step is like you need to know how much food you're eating in reality because I think most people underestimate the quantity of food that they're eating. So in order to like get this down to science, you, you have to make sure the numbers are correct. Oh, oh no, we're not. <laughs> but yeah, count your calories and focus. But, but, if, but if the majority of your meals is healthy and you cheat with one or two meals a week, counting will give you a methodical way of tracking your progress, mm -hmm. right? Numbers, you're a numbers guy. But that's, it's more of a drawback because then I have to like, this is more work for me. Well, I, I think once you, you know, get it down, like you know a very good estimate of how much calories and different things you're getting. But for beginners out there, I think it's hard to know exactly what you're consuming. A lot of times people end up over consuming food, yeah. even though, you know, they think in their head it's like yeah. know, very few calories, right. and in reality it's not because they're putting right. excess, excessive stuff like a lot of oil. So it might reveal sauce. where you need to make improvements. Exactly. And then give you an incentive to lower those macros yeah, or increase yeah. those macros. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Yeah. I guess, um, yeah, they, mm -hmm. yeah, putting numbers to something and tracking your progress is certainly uh, in the right direction. Uh -huh. Yo, let's get some brand sponsorship right here. Just promote random items. <laughs> I like to get the custom brand. Don't be embarrassed. Kirkland is a very uh, reputable, high quality brand. Kirkland is the brand of America. Alright, welcome to the food show where we taste the best rotisserie chicken in the world. First stop, we're getting the Kirkland brand rotisserie chicken. The juiciest of this chicken cannot be described. Mmm, looks like waterfall of protein juice exploding. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just got excited. <laughs> Alright. 
So yeah, full rotisserie chicken for how much? Four ninety nine. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. What can you get with four ninety nine these days? Exactly. So another thing that I look for is the color. I don't discriminate, but you know I like my chicks with the tan. Oh, is he looking for that tan line? When, when you get good sun, you know, I know that you're active, you're out there, you know, being physical, so... Yeah, yeah. And they're, uh, is that why they're under here? To get that, that Hollywood yeah, yeah, yeah. tan, bro? Okay. Wow, Costco really doing it up. Yeah. Cool. Next up on the list? More chicken. <laughs> no, let's get, let's get the uh, fish. Yes, sir. So, usually I meal prep my chicken for lunch when I'm working, and then my salmon for night. Because eating chicken two meals in a row, be very difficult. It's yeah. harder on your jaw, right? It's harder on your jaw, yeah, yeah. Is that how you keep your jaw so slim? Yeah. <laughs> and that and the Korean bee masks. Oh, and the bee masks. <laughs> Kirkland has some really good individually packed Atlantic salmon. Okay, fresh from the... Which ocean, Jason? Oh, it's it's from the Hudson River of New York City. Oh. I thought it was Atlantic because it says Atlantic salmon. Not your question. Ah, I see. They trick you. And the price of this? Whoa. $27 for six individually vacuum packed salmon. You probably pay for one of these, cooked at a restaurant, for the same price in Manhattan. Am I right? Very true. Manhattan is a very expensive place to live. So guys, if you don't have money, stay at Jason's place. Stay at my place. <laughs> but if you do have money, if you're a hot girl, if you do have money, I'll stay at your place. <laughs> oh. All right, next item, we're flying now, baby. Jason's also a fan of this. What is it? Greek yogurt. Ooh. Why do you like Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt has surprisingly a lot of protein. One serving has almost 20 grams of protein. Wow. And you should get the try to get the low sugar, the sugar free one. Definitely check the nutrient label. Yeah, some of these are packed sugar. Yeah. Is there a brand that you like? Chobani. Chobani's my favorite. Because it's rice with umami. <laughs> umami. Umami. Okay, I mispronounced. Your mommy, your mommy, your mommy. I like that. Your mommy, If you're watching this, please sponsor us. Yes. Okay. Uh, they carry Chibani here, I think. Also, I like, I like, Faye. Faye. Wait, it's Faye. Yeah. It, it says on the thing, like it's pronounced Faye. <laughs> <laughs> it's written all over the box, dude. Where? <laughs> you don't know how to pronounce it. So I bring, I have the same breakfast. Every morning consists of, you know, we'll make a separate video of this, like a day in the, or what do you call that? Like, uh, what full day of eating. Full day of eating, sure. <laughs> I like the individual pack one, so I can just bring it to work, eat it on my way. Either or, one? Yeah, I don't want to. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, all the, all the alpha males are taking the yogurt. <laughs> Next up, probably get some veggies, though. Let's do it. Get some veggies. Yeah, we're on track. <laughs> Do we really need a list? Uh, what's more professional? <laughs> ah, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Fruits. You gotta get your fruits, bros. What's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruits? I like berries, but bananas will do. <laughs> <laughs> what's the shape of your favorite banana? Mine are the, um, do they have the extra thick, like, uh, plantains here? Oh, plantains. Yeah, yeah. You like those? No, 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 that's the, that's the one that I have at home. That you're packing? That I'm packing. <laughs> Yes. If you want to find out if this is true, go to our porn up. Okay, uh, can't find the apples. We're gonna go to the dairy section. All right, let's go. So, we're talking to an egg specialist here. Egg specialist? Yes. Yes, I'm an excellent person. <laughs> excellent. The thing you look for in eggs is it, is it young and fertile? All right, so. I like, I'm Asian, I'm like becoming more lactose intolerant. Yeah, how are you becoming more? Oh, you lose your enzyme as you get older. Oh. That's why you're not able to digest uh, wow. milk. Medical facts. So if you don't want diarrhea, then you can get the <laughs> lactate. I had a lot of diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you want to know? <laughs> you, don't, you don't have a membership. Well, you live in Manhattan, so it's a little bit harder for you to go to Costco. Yeah, there's no Costco nearby me. When I come here, it's like very rare opportunity to stock up, I guess. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's the, that's the key word, stocking up. You get more for your money. And the quality of Costco items, I think, is actually mm -hmm. superior to the average item in the grocery store. And they go through very strict um, quality control. My dad knows because um, my dad used to work for Samsung. He said for them to have a Samsung item... Damn, you're flexing, bro? 
a flexor for my dad who's now retired. Yeah. Um, said there would be very, it'd be a very tough competition, mm -hmm. a very strict quality control for that for their items to be um, displayed here. Mm -hmm. I mean, Samsung's a probably not the best example because there's a brand reputation there. Mm -hmm. But any like wine sellers, when the CEO of Costco rolls through, let's say France, yeah. <laughs> they're greeted like royalty there. Really? Because once you get your product into a Costco line, dude, the world is your is your marketplace. So many people shop here, they know that they're getting a good price for it, and the quality is up to par. That sounds almost like joining a frat or a sorority. How so? It's just hard to get in. <laughs> hard to get in? But once you're in, you get all these benefits. And quality control is the opposite of what I do <laughs> with girls. Yeah, everyone can pass the screening. Just yeah. kidding, you're very picky. No, no, no. I, I pretend to be picky. Oh. I, I pick what I can get. <laughs> nah, that's not true. I can vouch for Jason. Alright, Jason's ex-girlfriend was a model. Don't say those lies. No, she was a model. <laughs> she was a model. She was very pretty. She's alright. She's alright in Jason's standards. But if you're a model, please DM me. Yeah, if you're a model or, or a Korean air flight attendant. <laughs> or if you're just really pretty. <laughs> if you're just really pretty, definitely slide into Jason's DMs. So, pretty hard. Pretty so hard. open right now. <laughs> Man, you're making me sound thirsty, bro. <laughs> thirsty? You? Nah. No. Madness here. So many people. I picked up a few more things as Jason's recording some B-rolls. I got big bars, which I include as part of my breakfast, and it's a good source of fiber. I also got what I like to pair with my salmon, which is the pasta and some good old Sausage. What's up? Hey. Are you a J Bro fan? What's your name? Samantha. Samantha. Props. So you have a problem here? Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, a little girl recognized us. It was awesome. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. It's a fan? Appreciate it. So we're in line to get some uh, chicken breast. Just kidding. Hot dogs and pizza. When you have good food, just like price at this low, low One, point. 150. This is the same combination that they had back in like 1984. Yeah, I remember when I was like 80 years old. Like I said, I, I came here. It was the same price. Same 150. Yeah, 150. Their iconic hot dog with refillable soda. What do we got here? Our, our favorite. I feel like we're just endorsing hot dogs now. We're proud sponsors of uh, American Hot Dog Association, the president of Hot Dog Association. Hello, welcome. Dental. Our wieners are all standardized. Please take a bite. <laughs> Click subscribe. Click subscribe. I love how we talk about dieting and then we're just. <laughs> Ten minutes later, we're just chowing down on hot dogs. Sometimes you just need that cheat day, right? I saved up for this, man. You gotta, you gotta look forward to something. You gotta yeah. look forward to that cheat meal. When we're just eating, you can't just grind all the time. Oh, yes. Man, you get the deli mustard and the and the mustard. The whole thing, the whole thing. You did the whole thing. You whole thing. went all out. Good <laughs> for the gram. <laughs> That's hilarious. Good for the gram. <laughs> this is cool machine. You, you kind of feel like uh, get sauerkraut. Sauerkraut? Oh, Should we get that? that? Oh, dang. I think I've enough condoms. Yes, condiments. I'm gonna take my wiener. Make sure you finish that word. <laughs> <laughs> this is a part of the date, courtesy of me, Big Spenta. Wow. Yeah, I know. Came at a five star restaurant. It's better. It's a five dollar restaurant. We got the hot dogs, that's the usual. Um, this is if you want to enjoy life. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's gonna kiss me tonight? No. <laughs> gonna have a wild, think, wild you, time. I don't think you need to worry about it. <laughs> Eat all the onions you want, man. Gonna have At a, least you have an excuse now. They're gonna have a heck of a time. They're gonna want a refund. I would say this is like better than uh, Nathan. Nathan. By far. Yeah, yeah by a lot. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, Nathan's hot dog was not that good. And it was overpriced. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. But it wasn't for the hot dog, it was for the experience. Yeah, it was, yeah, that's straight up like tourist crap. Nathan, if you're watching this, you gotta step up your game, bro. The wieners are weak. <laughs> this one. 
not juicy at all. Definitely fried though. Nathan's, come on. Come on, Nathan, you're a hot dog place. Can't even beat Costco. Costco's selling a thousand other items. <laughs> That's true. They will get point there. This is called the pizza. Ooh. <laughs> this is imported from Italy. Italia. Italia. The cheese is 100% gains. <laughs> and yes, uh, we'll take the first bite. Oh, it smells straight from processed factory. In Italia. In Italia. <laughs> Yes, I would know, because I'm Italian. Woo! Great form, great form. Excellent. <laughs> Where are you going, bro? I'll see you at the apartment. Yeah, I'm gonna take my car, you take the cart. Pro tip, put it in your luggage bag. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, is that why you brought this? Yeah. Oh, wow. That is appropriate. Anywhere. And now that we are on our way, I need to say what used to keep us back, but just excuses made to not change. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> you put that back in my trunk, bro. <laughs> nice knowing you. <laughs> Yo, get out of here. All right, good luck getting home, dude. Right. Calling you over. <laughs> Little scrub. Steal my food. Pack the rest of this. I'm just kidding. Let's steal the car after. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Watch how the mask attacks. Why is it this time? <laughs> 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 